Welcome back to You Know. For centuries, there have been many speculations about Venus, our Earth's volcanic sister planet. Recently, it was discovered that during the Cold War, the Soviet Union secretly captured some strange images of Venus and hid them from the public. However, these long-buried photos have recently come to light, and scientists are in a panic as these images might challenge everything we know about our solar system. Could these newly revealed Venusian images hold clues to the existence of alien life on the planet, and what other mysteries might they veil about the enigmatic world of Venus? Join us on a captivating journey as we uncover the secrets behind the declassified photos from Venus, and their potential impact on the world. After World War II, a captivating saga unfolded between two global powers, the United States and the Soviet Union. They both engaged in a fierce rivalry that stretched into the vast expanse of outer space itself. The launch of the Soviet satellite Sputnik 1 in 1957, the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth, worsened matters as it sparked a sense of urgency and competition in the United States. However, little did the world know that the space race between these superpowers had concealed an important secret. The Soviet Union, in a bid to outsmart the US, hid some strange photographs captured from their voyages to Venus. These controversial space snapshots have raised concerns among scientists, casting doubt on the validity of long-held beliefs regarding our solar system. Before delving into the mysterious images of Venus captured by Soviet space probes, let's start from the beginning, the space race. The space race was a fierce competition between the United States and the Soviet Union during the Cold War. At the time, the United States and the Soviet Union were like competing athletes trying to outdo each other in exploring space. After World War II, both nations seized the opportunity to acquire Germany's rocket engineers and advanced technology including the V-2 rockets. The United States gained the expertise of Wernher von Braun, a prominent rocket engineer who led their space program. Meanwhile, the Soviets recruited Sergei Korolev, a Ukrainian-born visionary, to head their space endeavors. In 1955, both countries announced their plans to launch satellites into orbit. On October 4, 1957, the Soviet Union took the lead by successfully launching Sputnik 1 the first satellite in orbit. It was a significant achievement, leaving the United States behind. For months later, the United States celebrated its success with the launch of Explorer 1. During the space race, they achieved a significant milestone when they successfully launched cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin aboard the Vostok 1 spacecraft in April, 1961. Gagarin's historic mission marked the first time a human had ever orbited the Earth garnering tremendous acclaim both within the Soviet Union and globally. This triumph was followed by the United States' achievement just three weeks later, as astronaut Alan Shepard embarked on his pioneering journey aboard the Freedom 7 spacecraft, making him the first American to venture into space. Feeling the pressure of lagging behind, the United States made a bold claim on May 25, 1961 when President John F. Kennedy declared that America would be the first to land a man on the moon before the end of the decade. This marked the beginning of the ambitious Apollo program. Alongside Apollo, other notable milestones occurred. In February 1962, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth, while in June 1963, Soviet cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova became the first woman in space. NASA received increased funding to achieve its daunting goal of reaching the moon first by the end of the decade. In addition to Apollo, NASA launched the Gemini program to develop the necessary technology. Gemini saw American astronaut Ed White perform the first American spacewalk. However, the Soviets had already achieved this feat with Alexei Leonov spacewalk a few months earlier. Gemini also witnessed the first docking of two spacecraft in Earth's orbit. After extensive testing, Training, and numerous experiments, the Apollo 11 spacecraft was launched on July 16, 1969. On board were U.S. astronauts Neil Armstrong, Edwin Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. The mission encountered challenges leading to a manual landing of the lunar module named the Eagle. Finally, on July 20, 1969, the Eagle landed on the moon's surface. Neil Armstrong's historic step onto the lunar surface marked a monumental moment in human history. His famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, echoed around the world.
symbolizing the culmination of years of intense competition in the space race. With this achievement, America emerged as the victor, while Soviet attempts to land on the moon between 1969 and 1972 ended in failure. As the goal of reaching the moon was accomplished, public interest in lunar missions gradually declined. In July 1975, the United States and the Soviet Union made history with the Apollo Soyuz test project, the first joint space flight during the Cold War. This mission aimed to test the compatibility of rendezvous and docking systems between the American Apollo spacecraft and the Soviet Soyuz spacecraft, commanded by astronaut Thomas Stafford and cosmonaut Alexei Leonov. The spacecraft rendezvoused and docked in orbit, facilitating crew transfer between them. This historic docking event marked the first time American and Soviet spacecraft had joined together in space. Throughout the mission, the crews conducted joint experiments, exchanged gifts, and broadcasted television programs between the two spacecraft. After approximately days, the spacecraft separated and returned to Earth independently. The success of the Apollo Soyuz test project paved the way for future international cooperation in space, laying the foundation for subsequent joint missions and collaborations between the United States and Russia, including the Shuttle Mir program in the 1990s and the ongoing partnership in the International Space Station, which began in the late 1990s. Although the United States is often seen as the winner of the space race, the Soviet Union achieved significant milestones, including launching the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, sending Yuri Gagarin as the first human into space, and exploring Venus. The exploration of Venus during the space race was particularly significant for the Soviet Union. In 1970, they accomplished a major milestone by successfully landing a spacecraft, Venera 7, on Venus. Despite the planet's inhospitable conditions, including extreme atmospheric pressure and scorching temperatures, the Soviet Union's determination persisted. The Venera missions, including Venera 1, Venera 2, and subsequent attempts, demonstrated the Soviet Union's commitment to space exploration. Despite setbacks, these missions contributed valuable data and insights into Venus, expanding our understanding of the solar system and showcasing the Soviet Union's technological prowess in space exploration. The fate of Venera 2 remains uncertain as it's unclear whether its unfortunate occurrence happened before or after its close encounter with Venus. Following this, the Soviet Union developed a subsequent group of spacecraft known as Venera 3-6, with a specific focus on delving deeper into the atmosphere of Venus. These probes, weighing approximately 2,000 pounds, were equipped with various sensors to gather valuable data. Not all of these missions yielded successful results. Venera 3, the first spacecraft to successfully land on Venus, unfortunately crashed upon reaching the surface. However, Venera 4 made significant discoveries during its descent through Venus's dense atmosphere in October. 1967, providing insights into the planet's atmospheric composition and lack of a global magnetic field. Despite succumbing to the harsh conditions, Venera 5 and Venera 6, launched in January 1969, were more durable in construction and provided valuable data on Venus's environment. Venera 7 represented a significant advancement in achieving a safe landing on Venus. Despite facing challenges during its descent, it successfully landed on Venus in December 1970, providing crucial data on the planet's surface temperature and atmospheric pressure. Subsequent missions, including Venera 8, confirmed the feasibility of capturing images of Venus's surface, paving the way for future exploration. The most renowned Soviet expeditions to Venus, Venera 9 through Venera 12, featured landers equipped with cameras capable of capturing direct images of the planet's surface. Despite encountering issues with lens covers, these missions provided the first-ever images from Venus's surface, revealing a rugged and alien terrain. Venera 13 and 14, launched in 1981, featured more sophisticated landers and incorporated acoustic devices to measure the speed of the Venusian wind. Venera 15 and Venera 16 lacked landers but utilized radar-based imaging equipment to conduct comprehensive surveys of the entire planet from a safe distance. These probes produced maps of superior resolution, offering remarkable insights into Venus's geological features and rough environment. Through these missions, the Soviet Union expanded our understanding of Venus, revealing its extreme conditions, rugged terrain, 
and turbulent geological past. These discoveries have contributed significantly to our knowledge of the solar system and the diversity of planetary environments. The secret behind the declassified photos from Venus lies in the remarkable missions conducted by the Soviet Union in the 1970s. Despite the limitations of technology at the time, the Soviet Venera spacecraft missions demonstrated remarkable sophistication, enabling them to gather valuable data about Venus, an uncharted planet. One major objective of the Venera 9-12 missions was to capture photographs of Venus's surface, providing insights into its geological features and history. However, the Soviet Union did not release all the photos to the international scientific community, considering some as state secrets to maintain their edge in the space race against the United States. Recently, notable scientists, including Michio Koku, presented declassified photos from Venus that didn't make it to the public archive. These photos revealed rocky outcrops, majestic peaks, and frozen volcanic features, providing a glimpse into the planet's turbulent geological past. Koku pointed out many interesting details in the Venus photographs, shedding light on the planet's geological history and prompting further research. One exciting discovery was evidence of widespread volcanic activity on Venus, seen in lava flows and craters. Additionally, Evidence for water erosion suggested a complicated geology and raised questions about the planet's original temperature and the possibility of water's presence on the surface. Despite the new information, many mysteries about Venus remain, such as bright areas and dark regions that suggest intriguing prospects for biological or geological action. While NASA achieved a successful impact mission with the Pioneer Venus 2 spacecraft in 1978, direct landings on Venus are yet to be accomplished. However, NASA is developing the Da Vinci Plus spacecraft, scheduled to conduct an atmospheric probe in 2031, which may provide additional insights into Venus's composition and geology. While NASA hasn't directly landed on Venus, the pioneering Mariner 2 spacecraft made a historic milestone in 1962 by becoming the first spacecraft to visit a planet beyond Earth, significantly enhancing our understanding of Venus's atmospheric conditions. These ongoing efforts aim to unravel the mysteries of Venus and expand our knowledge of the solar system. Thanks for watching you.